Welcome back to day 14 of the triple silver cell refining process. And this will be probably the last day that we're going to try to operate these cells. They're getting full of silver. And so we're going to need to uh, go ahead and harvest this silver out of here very soon. Let's see what we're looking like down inside of cell number one. Oh, wow, look at that, man. That silver is almost up to and touching the anode filter basket. So this thing's getting full. I might be able to get away with one more day of operation. these crystals down in here give it a little sip of electrolyte and that's cell number one looking fantastical Go ahead and put a, a spoon of impure silver shot in here. And then if you look up here, here's our new reading on cell number one, 1 1.3 amps. Here's the current flow on cell number two. It's down to uh, 0.7 amps. Let's look down inside of here and see what we got going on inside of cell number two. Oh yeah, look at them crystals, man. They're those are some nice chunky silver trees. Looking real good. I'm gonna knock these down a little bit so that we don't we reduce the risk of those uh, crystals growing up and making contact with the anode filter. Add some electrolyte. This looks really good, man. This is exactly how it should look. It's looking excellent. Go ahead and add a spoon of our impure silver to this cell. Put the anode filter or the anode electrode bar back on there. And if you look up here, here's our new current flow on cell number two, 1.2 amps. Here's the current flow on the beast, 1.7. Here's what it looks like down inside of our anode filter basket. You can see the electrolyte is uh, seeping up around the impure shot down in there. Let's look down in here and see what this thing's looking like. I'll pull this off of here. Turn the power supply off. Oh, wow, look at that, man. That is just... That is really something. See those pure silver crystal trees down in there? If I get this thing to stop dripping, get a better shot of that stuff. It's just beautiful. Really something, man, to look at this stuff. This is day 14, so I'm estimating about 140 troy ounces of pure silver at harvest time from the beast. Let's give this thing a shot of electrolyte. And we'll stir it up. Knock these crystals down a little bit.
There we go. Now we're in a little less danger of having, those, having the crystals come in contact with the anode filter. If that happens, then it'll short out, burn a hole in the bag, and then allow the silver cell slimes down into the uh, pure silver crystal and ruin the batch. But I do have a three amp fuse installed in the beast to prevent that from happening. Pull these anode filters up out of the way. You can see the electrolyte is peeking through down there. I'm just gonna dump the rest of this into this anode filter here. We'll put our bars back down in here. And again, these bars are act as a uh, buffer between the electrolyte down here and our expensive anode electrode bar. If we keep this bar here up out of the electrolyte, we can use it over and over. I think we started out with about 8.5 kilos of impure silver to feed into the silver cells and all that. I've gone through all that. These are the filter changes. There's a little bit of undissolved impure silver shot in these filters left over. And what we'll do is we'll process the slimes in these filters and recover all the silver that didn't get dissolved down into the silver cell. Plus there should be some precious metals in those slimes, such as uh, maybe a little bit of gold and a little bit of platinum group metals in these filters. Let's go ahead and re-energize the power supply for the beast. Still got 1.7 amps, which is respectable. It's moving along smartly. And we should, uh, we should be ready to harvest tomorrow. Today is Friday, so we should be able, uh, ready to harvest the pure silver crystal out of here on Saturday. Got the maintenance done on all three of the silver cells. So this will conclude part, uh, day 14, maintenance of the electrolytic silver cells. Thank you for watching.